allegory, a story where the characters stand for abstract ideas. For example, good and evil. Cause I was Jekyll, Jekyll High, Jekyll High, High, Jekyll. Jekyll, Jekyll High, Jekyll High. Jekyll, Jekyll High, Jekyll High, High, Jekyll. Jekyll, Jekyll. YouTubers, this is Hello Kitty Power 1992. Monica, Hello Kitty Power from Zwinky. Hi. And today, um, I'm going to be talking about my Halloween designs that I have submitted in for Zwinky for the Halloween store, so hopefully they will get in. Um, I also want to say, I know it's been a while since I made a video and everything, but in case some of you have forgotten or already know, I like I think about two months ago, I already made a vid, um, like talked about in a vid the end of the vid that um, I'm gonna be making vids like at least two a month or something or one because I'm not really as um, onzy as much you know I'm still on it every day you know just to get the daily just to check on kitty and just you know get do whatever you know fashion shows that sort of thing you know cuz I'm just basically more focused in my life and everything and what I do and everything but um you know Zwinky is still a part of it anyway um okay carrying on now okay so um now I'm going to be talking about uh, my five designs, so let's get started. Okay, so um, this first design here, as I'm sure the song pretty much gave it away, is um, a recreation of my 2012 uh, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde um, stud hottie design. Um, the reason why I recreated it because it was for one, the 2012 didn't get in, and to be honest, it sucked to me. Now that I think about it and compare it to this one, here's a pick in case some of you all don't know what I'm talking about. And um, so yeah, uh, so this is pretty much a recreation of it. Um. You know, um, in case some of you guys don't know the the whole Jekyll and Mr. Hyde story, look it up and everything. I mean, I'm not really as into it. I haven't really read about it. The only thing I know about it is about this scientist dude. I think he makes, like, a, like a potion or something, and he, you know, ends up, like, he becomes this Jekyll half-creature. So he pretty much, you know, is half and half, half human and this half-creature thing, you know? So, um, yeah. I was inspired, actually, not by the story, but, um... Um, the this, this song that you guys heard when I um, showed you all the, the pic of him um, was uh, pretty much from where I, where, uh, what inspired me. It was from this PBS kids show called Arthur. You know, that cute, cute little aardvark, you know, and his friends and everything. Yeah, um, <laughs> I would watch that anytime and everything. It's such a cute show. But um, there was an episode where all the characters would like, it's like a music video episode, you know, where all the characters sing these songs that fit their personality. And there's one character, and his name is Alan, but they call him the Brain because he's the smartest of the whole gang thing and everything. He basically was singing how he became the Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, like literally, you know, he's reading about it and everything, and then eventually he gets too into it, he has these nightmares. And eventually just all becomes reality and he becomes the Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So um, that's what inspired me in 2012 to make it and that's what still inspired me today. So literally as I was designing this I literally had to repeat that song over and over. <laughs> it's just so catchy. Yeah, <laughs> But yeah, um, that's what inspired me. So as you all see here, he basically has his uh, potion, you know, that he, you know, drank and then that's went up and did everything. And then uh, he has his cane here for his Jekyll side. He has um, his regular, uh, when in his human side, he has his scientific uh, coat. He has, you know, his striped 
black uh, dress pants and just these brown boot shoes because for the life of me, I cannot make shoes, for one. Also, I suck at making hair, but you know what? I think the hair is at least decent enough, especially the Jekyll one. Um, and then on the Jekyll side, he has, you know, his run-down, like, ripped-up brown, like, coat. And he has his, uh dirty brown messed up top hat you know and for one I suck at making hats too but I'm actually like pleased of how that kind of turned out I guess <laughs> and so yeah you know um he has this like you know the half human face and the half Jekyll face you know which has the little fang teeth thingies going his fancy tie thing just a red shirt with yellow buttons golden buttons whatever and just yeah and the the Jekyll side of the pants are ripped you know because you know that's the like the creature uh oh anyway um so yeah, so that's my uh, first design, which is the Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, basically recreated. I really hope that this one gets in, you know? So yeah, moving on to the next one. Now this one is my ultimate favorite. Literally, this literally was, wow. I was inspired pretty much by a movie that I saw. Um, I'm sure it's familiar to you all too. Um, it's called the movie, it's called Big. It's about, you know, this kid, he wishes that he could be, like, an adult because he can't ride, you know, the roller coasters and, you know, this and that. And he's just sick of being young. So he, he goes up to this machine at the carnival. And he pretty much, uh, it's, it's really called the Zoltar Speaks. He, um, ends up making a wish that he could be big. And then the next day his wish was granted and he became an adult. Um, that's pretty much what inspired me to make this. Um, this would have to be my favorite design out of anything that I have ever submitted to Zwinky, so it beats Santa Claus. <laughs> but yeah, um, this, uh, this had a lot of detail to it, you know. There was that point where I just had to stop adding detail to something because it's like, oh my god, Monica, you're gonna spend more and more hours with this. I literally spent at least six hours with this, you know, and then, like, for real, for, like, I worked on this for three days for, like, many hours, you know, because I'm a very slow designer, you know. Um, it's not only because, you know, I have other things to do, it's just that, you know, um, it's just, it just, he just took so much time, and, you know, I'm just slow and everything, and I mean, I have a mini tablet that I designed with, it's not huge or anything, but, you know, um, yeah, so, uh, let's talk about it a bit here, so he's in his, um, so basically the Zoltar Speaks, you know, is like a robotic dude or whatever in, um, fortune teller dude in the machine. And, you know, there you have the 25 cent little coin slot. You know, I made it cheap for you guys, you know. <laughs> and then, uh, beside that is the, is the speaker, you know, because some of the, um, in reality this does exist. There are such machines as this, you know, that can read your fortune and print out your fortune little card thingy. Some of them speak, some of them just print out the card. I added the speaker to it, you know, so you guys could use your imagination that he's talking. Um, there you see also the little card slots where, um, your fortune will come out and everything. And it has the, you know, the little Z's on it to represent Zwinky, just like the three cards he's holding in his hand. There's his, uh, crystal globe thingy. Um, you know, he's just dressed up all, you know, fortune telleristic, like, <laughs> wow. Um, the back, um... The machines, you know, had a lot of detail to it. There's always, like, these two, like, candles beside them. These lamp candles, like, behind them. And then the curtains behind them. So I recreated the Zwinky version for that, too, for this design. Um, yeah, so pretty much this design was, is just by far the best that I have ever created. And I'm very proud of it. And to be honest, I am 100% positive that he is going to get in. For real, I'm really confident that he's going to get in. This is just so freaking huge, and this is just, wow, you know? So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a fortune teller guy, pretty much, you know? So, yeah, um, I'm really proud of this one. So let's move on to the next design. Now, this design is by far the cutest puppy I've ever seen on Z. <laughs> yes, this is a male cutie as a puppy, and behind him is this cute little red doghouse. He is so adorable. Um, I decided to make him spotted, brown spotted puppy. Um, what can I say? He, he's very simple, you know? I mean, I just really like how the cutie design, when designing for cutie, it's not so time consuming because how thick the lines would be for them and everything. So he basically, he didn't take that long to make, but um, I'm very proud of how he turned out. He is really adorable, and I really do hope that he gets in for the cuties. So yeah, um, not really much to say, but I am proud of how, you know, he turned out. Such an adorable little pup. Okay, next one. 
Now this one, Sour Girls, this is the only Hottie Babe item that I made, you know. As you all can see, I mainly designed for the guys, boys. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so these are basically Black Nylons of the skeleton legs, you know, basically of what our, you know, if, how our Zwinky skeleton legs would look, you know. <laughs> and, um, I basically, uh, originally it was just gonna be white and everything, but then I wanted to stand out more. Um, so I decided to add this kind of bluish green neon color to make um, it stand out more So it looks like that it's like x-ray, you know, I think it's pretty cool actually how it how um, it turned out I'm really proud of it um, So yeah, I really hope that this gets in too. It's really cute and my final design um, is just the cutie female as a black cat um Somewhat of an, uh, the same kind of body for as the puppy had but you know, I just basically made the tail uh, more skinnier, you know, just made her, uh, like, grayish-black cat, you know, she has her cat eyes, her whiskers, um, she has that little mouse that, you know, she's stepping on the tail with, um, so yeah, pretty simple, like I said, the cutie designs are, like, really simple to make and everything, um, so, yeah, that's pretty much uh, all that I really have to say about my designs, I really am proud of how they turned out, you know, I'm actually... I'm actually proud of them more than any uh, design for anything else that I have made, to be honest, you know, because um, I'm really confident. I don't know why a part of me thinks that hopefully maybe all five could get in. It just would be so wonderful, you know. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll I have to wait and see what, what the results are. And good luck to all of you who submitted for um, your Zwinky designs for the Halloween store. I do have actually quite a lot of vids in store, actually. So I know I said that um, month... A month I'm gonna be uploading at least two or one or something but for sure um, October mainly is gonna be when there's uh, a few more vids than you know what I said so yeah um yeah so good luck um, Zwinky designers and see you youtubers